okay so in this tutorial what we are going to see is that how android runtime permissions work right from the 6.0 marshmallow from the 6.0 marshmallow they have created this thing means if you are using some of the application right if you are using some of the application then you can in revoke the permission which will make drastic effect on your app flow right you can revoke the permission your app might get crashed at the runtime because of the permission see so presently we are not using read contact that's why it is working so if I make my code or let me comment this thing let me make this app for the what you can say contact content prof, content app you will come to know this thing see now if I run the code once again right if I run the code this code once again you will see that this application is not running contact app is not running because your application is not having that permission right your application is not having read contact permission let's see what happens if it opens the app can you see over here you are going to find the crash report over here why because your application has been crashed because of no permission not this we are going to have the contact app see this contact app let me run this app once again you'll find that application is not running properly why because you don't have the permissions needed permissions right and your application or Android is not allowing you to read the contact because user has revoked the permissions from the settings you can do this thing only after the marshmallow and that's why this is happening right so from the marshmallow there there are two types of the permissions one is normal and the dangerous normal da danger normal permissions do not compromise the privacy of the user but the danger permissions may right there are some applications which reads the contact of your app and suddenly stores on the server there are many applications which are automatically read your contacts and throw all your contacts to the server so that is not secure right that is not secure can you see contact app has stopped why because you don't have read permission if you check it over here why your application has stopped you will come to know that you don't have sufficient permissions can you see security error security permission denial right you don't have that permission to read the contact why because user has revoked if you are going to revoke the camera permission or the contact permission of whatsapp whatsapp also cannot sync the contacts right on the marshmallow and above okay how to get rid of this thing and that's why this documentation they have provided right okay first you are going to check the permission your app is having permissions or not first thing you are going to check right see this is the code they have given right I'll show you what's that code is now before calling this method fetch contacts I'm going to call this code right what I'm going to do I'm going to call this code see what here what you are doing you are just checking you have read contacts permission or not if, if you can check this there is what you can say manifest dot read contact is not granted right can you see context compact dot check self permission right read contacts is not granted right is not granted right then you can give some dialogue over here right why do you need that permission see they have given should we show the explanation yes why do you need that thing otherwise directly right ask for the user to get the permission right here is the permission code 
you can see you can say permission underscore contact permission underscore contact see here so here why do you need the permission you are going to tell everything why do you need that permission right and here you are going to directly ask user for the permission I'll show you see it is a int and you can say one two three or whatever one three three four fine now whenever user will try what you can say whenever user right whenever this mo method is going to get execute before that this much code is going to get executed before that this much code is going to get executed remember that before having execution of this this code is going to get executed okay now here we are going to show some alert dialog you can write the dialog fragment over here alert dialog dot builder you can say builder is equals to new alert dialog dot builder you can pass context as this dot you can say set message we need what you can say contact permission to proceed right we need contact permission to proceed right then you got the builder and you can say builder dot show straight away you are going to show one dialog over here right you are going to show one dialog over here once you are going to see this dialog right user will get attention we need contact permission to proceed right I'll show you what is happening let's run the code once again you'll come to know what's happening okay now it is a crashing right this app is directly crashing contact app is directly crashing now you will see something right if you see that let me see now see what what's happening anyways this line was executing so what I did is that I have written that in the else block see if is not granted execute this else execute this let's run the code and now see what happens now it should show you right one dialog it should show you one dialog see we need contact permission to proceed right you can say this you can open this app once again we need contact permission to proceed it is again and again saying that we need contact permission to proceed right now what we'll do is that let's give this two buttons over here you can say set positive button right set positive button and here you can say okay right and listener right we need to have this listener I think we have enabled the Java it you can replace it with the lambda like this right and the builder dot show if they say yes right then do this thing if they say yes then ask for the permission right and if no just dismiss the dialogue you can say dot here dot set negative button you can say no okay or say no then you can have same dialogue let's have by function dialogue and which w arrow this if no kindly dismiss the dialogue you can say d dot dismiss so this d is nothing but the object of dialogue interface the dialogue you are working on this is nothing but this dialogue and which you are you have clicked which button in this case you don't need to worry about that because we have used the lambdas right dialogue dot show right and in that case you don't need that else right in that case you don't need that else over here see if they say yes then do this thing no then just do this thing okay 
now let me run the code once again and say ok over here you would be getting something new dialog on the tap of yes over here right we need the contact permission can you see if you say ok you will see allow contact app to access your contact now what is happening if you tap deny or allow what thing you have clicked if you want to get to know that thing what is happening on the click of that then you are going to override one method on permission on request permission result right on request permission result would be the call and see here you have called the permission with this permission ID right here here you are getting that permission ID request code permissions and this now I'll show you see if request code is exactly equals to permission underscore contact then do this thing right you may request for multiple permissions at a time okay then you can say if permissions dot length is greater than zero right you can check if permission dot length is greater than zero and if grant results of zero if you can see over here right if you can see over here see grant result it is either coming zero or one right this grant result is deny or allow that is coming over here meanwhile you can check the permission as well right meanwhile you can check what permission as well let me show and grant result dot zero is exactly equals to why zero because you have asked for only one permission at a time permission dot read contact permission dot read external storage permission dot read location permission dot read Wi-Fi Bluetooth many things are there right but at the zeroth position it is a read contact that's why I'm giving grant result of zero is exactly equals to package manager dot permission granted then do this thing then you are going to again call what this fetch contacts method over here if permission is granted then call this fetch contacts method now see let me run the code restart the app and you can check it what's happening so again it will show you one dialog I need the permission of what this see we need contact permission to proceed if you say no nothing will happen right but if you say okay it will ask you this and if you say allow you will see contact from the data so these two things are important right checking the permission right and requesting the permission like this here you have requested the permission for read contact and here you have checked allowed or deny denial and the allow over here on request permission result and this thing at the time of location we are going to see again this thing or we are going to use it once again right fine that's it for the accessing runtime permissions right for more details or this topic is only this much right for more details you can go through it and read it right and if you like our videos kindly subscribe our channel code cool